Framing Lent, a video reflection with Dr. Cheryl Fournier. Week one, rocks. Take a moment to think about rocks. We encounter them daily. They're everywhere. Our driveways, our walkways, our streets. Rocks can be beautiful, shiny and smooth and something precious to behold. We often think of precious gems as rocks. But then there are rocks that we trip over and rocks that we stumble upon and pebbles of rocks that get stuck in our shoe and we know how uncomfortable that is. Rocks can weigh us down and hold us down, prevent us from doing our best, prevent us from climbing, prevent us from scaling. Yet rocks are also something on which we build. Remember, Jesus in the scriptures said to Peter, You are Peter, you are rock, and on this rock I will build my church. Sometimes our hearts can be as hard as a rock. Firm, unpliable, resistant to change, hard. What is the rock in you this Lent? What is the unchanging thing in you? How do you move beyond the hardness to experience the softness, magnanimity of God's love? Think for a moment of the rocks in your life. How do you carry them? Are they there with you for a while and then set free, skipping across a pond? Are they with you always, weighing you down? This Lent, I invite you to find a rock you can love. Yes, you heard me right. One that you can carry that will remind you of the hardness of your own heart. And each time you're mindful of that hardness, squeeze it again to remind yourself that you are called to be something more. The prophet Ezekiel reminds us in sacred scripture and says, I will give you a new heart, put a new spirit within you. I will remove your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. What is the stone that needs to be removed from you? How will your heart be transformed this Lent? Lord, our God, creator of the universe, through your goodness, you have given us rocks. Help us to be transformed by the reminder of their sedentary way. Amen.